Hello, Delusion Dispeller here to make a video on what I eat and um, how I'm losing weight and stuff by a request from one of my viewers. So this is one thing I'm eating, if you can see it. It's kind of already half eaten because it was a quite a big plate there. And these are those little tiny mini plates. It's not like a full dinner plate. But there was quite a bit of stuff on here. And what this is is spaghetti squash, um, a little bit of rice, very little because it was left over. Um, sweet potato and grillers which is like a artificial meat type thing like a veggie protein thing um, that's what we have here in our state I don't know if everybody has that or not and it's really good and I put some sour cream on it last night I had the same thing but I put um something else on it oh soy sauce and I also right before this I had a little bit more and I put spaghetti sauce on it so I'm a big eater but honestly, if I'm full, I don't eat. I just eat when I'm hungry. So hang on a minute. I'm going to do something. If I can find it. Yep, I can. <clears throat> this is my handy dandy tape measure. So I want all of you to kind of come along on the journey with me as I take my measurements again. I'm going to give you my measurements as of right now. I just have a tank top on, as you can see. Um, but I have other measurements somewhere on my other computer that I'll let you know about in the text below this video so okay if I can get this thing to flip right do you ever try that like measure yourself and the thing flips all over the place okay yep we do the chest measurement and that is at this time about 47 and a half and then the hips measurement like I said, this is by popular request here from somebody that was a viewer. They wanted me to record my weight loss journey so everybody could see it. Um, 47 is the waist. And then I can't show you my hips, but take my word for it. I'm doing my hip measurement next. Um, just right around the fullest part of the belly. It's always fun doing this on yourself, seriously. Um, Ugh, let's see here. And what is that? I gotta look down at it. Um, here, I'll put my finger on it. About 47 and a half around the belly area. So, there you go. Those are my three measurements. I don't do the neck and the arms and all that stuff because I know you only lose like an inch or so on those. Sorry about that. So yeah, um, just to let you know what I'm doing, I am no longer eating red meat of any kind. I haven't been eating pork for like years. And then I would like eat a little bit in between and get really sick and have a really major headache. So it wasn't worth it. Um, but then basically I stopped eating the pork and started cutting back on the red meats. But I was still eating like steak and uh, beef roast and ending up in a lot of pain. Ow, and my cat just tried to jump up on me and got me with his claws. Ow. Um, yeah, I don't believe in declawing animals either. I think it's cruel. I'm um, taking a new stand against cruelty to animals for sure and not eating them either. Um, I was going to keep eating chicken. I'm thinking of not doing that because they de-beak the chickens and de-foot the chickens in a very cruel way. Um, I just don't like animals being tortured or abused, period. And eating one that has been really upsets me. Uh, let's see, what else? So far, I haven't given up fish. And I don't know if I will or not. That might come in time. I'm not a full vegan. Because I'm not giving up milk and sour cream and cream cheese. <clears throat> and yogurt and things like that. I like that stuff. And I don't think eating soy cheese would be my thing either. I just like regular full flavored cheese. So that's just my personal journey. And everybody's is different. But just to let you know what I'm doing, that's pretty much it. Um, I am cutting back a little bit on gluten. But I still do eat white bread every once in a while. Like a bun, a roll, whatever you want to call it. I put some butter on it. Sometimes I'll eat rye bread. And I really like sourdough bread. Because I don't have very much um, stomach upset or any problems with sourdough. So that's the first step on my weight loss journey and stay tuned. I'll keep you informed as I go along on the journey. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.